Now, I've talked before about the Albanese government's ridiculous plans to build 10,000 kilometres of transmission lines across the country, crisscross, crisscross, to link up all these solar and wind farms it claims we must have to replace coal power. Well, 10,000 kilometres across so many farms, and that's now taken a nasty turn with farmers in New South Wales claiming they're being held to ransom. And they mean that almost literally. There are laws forcing these farmers to allow these lines to cross their property, and if they dare complain about where exactly those lines go, well, let's hear from one of the farmers. Stuart Hackney from Dunadoo. Stuart Hackney, thank you so much indeed for your time. You live in a beautiful part of the country. Thank you for the video you've sent us. Lovely place. But your land has been forcibly acquired for some of these transmission lines. What was the problem with that for you? Well, Andrew, the problem's been the whole way through. It started off with lack of consultation, lack of... Uh, ability to even talk to anyone where these lines wanted to go. Um, where we're sitting here at the moment, this is where they wanted to put the power lines all over our infrastructure, but yeah, they just wouldn't accept any local knowledge on the problems. Now, you did ask for a change though, didn't you? We've been arguing for 15 months trying to get changes when we've just succeeded in getting a minor change in the alignment, but it's still not up to our expectations. They still won't accept the fact that the shade trees behind me are all going to be removed. There's 40, 40 plus shade trees they're going to take down, uh, leaving our stock without much shade in some paddocks on the property. Well, that's no good. Now, I've heard uh, some farmers complain, and is this your case as well? I don't know. Some farmers complain that if they got a change like that and they're still not happy, that there'd be a, well, if you don't accept this, you are going to cop something. Is that you will get uh, maybe less compensation than you wanted? What happened with you, you with, when you complained about the changes? Well, Andrew, we're still complaining. Um, yeah, like I said, we've got the little change in our alignment. Um, but there is some families on the farm that are still going to face the problem if they go to the value of general that they will lose any benefits or grants that they've been given in change of alignment. Um, we've actually secured our change in the alignment today after the after a little bit of a talk with a solicitor so yeah we're off the hook with that but yeah we're still battling to try and get our infrastructure bypassed fully but they don't seem to want to come to it at any agreement yet. So that seems really some blackmail tactics. There a thing held over your head. Well, basically, it is a bit of a blackmail, but it's the compulsory acquisition card that they keep waving around at you. If you don't agree and you don't want to sign up, they just go down the lines of the compulsory acquisition. So once that happens, you're off to the value of general and you've got no say in the matter. I don't know. That's, that's coming the real heavy. I mean, uh, Stuart, uh, I don't get it. I mean, uh, the poli where, where are the politicians on this? Well, we've had some good support with some of the politicians. Uh, Ross Cadell's been trying his hardest to get a uh, bill or something into Parliament to have an inquiry, but unfortunately he just can't get enough people to back him on that. Um, we've met with the Minister and the Treasurer a couple of weeks ago. Um, they're starting to show a little bit of interest now that this whole process has been very, <coughs> excuse me, poorly handled. So we're hoping that yeah, it continues on, that they uh, come to the party and um, start to do things a hell of a lot better for us so that yeah, we're not got our back up like we have. And let's not forget the end uh, result is that across your beautiful property you're going to have monstrous Transmission wires are just spoiling your view. You thought you're in rural paradise. You look like a, a back lot of some uh, industry zone. Stuart Hackney, thank you so much indeed for your time and good luck with your struggle there. Honestly, there's so many stories already, right, that are brought to you and you think... We're, the, the government's way behind in this 10,000 kilometres of transmission lines. You're going to hear a lot, lot more. Thousands of kilometres of these lines still to come. A lot of people are going to be very upset with what's being done to our beautiful countryside.